Now, a stone propelled from a catapult with a speed of 50 meters per second attains a height of 100 meters. Calculate the time of flight, the angle of projection, and the range attained. This is a question taken from projector. A stone is propelled from a catapult with a speed of 50 meters per second and uh, it attains a height of 100 meters. As a way of illustration, let me use this diagram to show the to illustrate the question. Now you see this stone projected from this point and uh, of course we know it's going to follow this path and strike the ground somewhere here. Now we have been given the maximum height risen by the stone as 100 meters. Also we've been given the initial speed of the body. The initial speed of the stone as 100 sorry 50 meters per second so you are given the initial speed of projection and then you're also given the maximum height above the ground level attained by this stone but we're not given the angle of projection that is the launch angle theta degrees and we're asked to find the time of flight recall the time of flight in the videos i did before now we did derive the equation for time of flight and I'll refer to that video 2u sine theta divided by g that's the equation for calculating the time of flight but if you by careful inspection you will see that um, we need the value of angle theta to be able to calculate the time of flight and that is not given we also to calculate the angle of projection, that is the B part of the question, theta. We need theta to be able to calculate the time of flight. And then the maximum height is also given, that is 100 meters. And the equation for maximum height is this, maximum height equals u squared sine squared theta, that is sine theta whole squared, divided by 2 times the uh, acceleration due to gravity g. So what I want to do here, probably to first of all find the angle of projection. Since we already known the initial speed of projection of 50, and also we have already known the uh, maximum height at 10. We have this already, g is 10. So we can find it from equation 2, or from the equation for time of flight. So we have that to be equal to um, each equals u squared sine squared theta divided by 2 times g. So by the time we uh, substitute the values for the variables, the maximum height is 100, so 100 quickly equals, that is 50 squared sine squared theta divided by 2 times 10. So that gives me 100 equals 50 squared is 2,500 sine squared theta over 20. By the time I cross multiply, I'm going to have 20 times 100, that is 2000, equals 2500 sine squared theta. So by the time I divide both sides by 2500, I'm going to have 2000 divided by 2500 equals sine squared theta. So by the time I divide this by this, I'm going to have 4 over 5, which is 0 0.8, equals sine squared theta. First of all, I need to find theta. I have to take the square root of both sides. So that 10 sine theta, taking square root of both sides gives me square root of 0 0.8. So that is what we do here in order for us to find the value of uh, sine theta. By the time I take the square root of 0 0.8, it gives me 0 0.89 for 4. So that theta, angle theta in degrees, becomes the sine inverse of 0 0.8944. So when I take the sine inverse of that, 
it gives me my value for theta which is 63 roughly 63 degrees to the nearest degree it is 63 degrees so we have found the angle of projection which is roughly 63 degrees we can now come back to impute this value into the equation for time of flight to calculate the time of flight for the motion of the stone okay so coming back here now half time of flight is 2 times uh, from this equation my u is 50 times sine theta that is sine 63.4 let me use a complete value to the nearest one degree divided by 10 so by the time I compute this what will be the time of flight so I have here 2 times 50 times sine 63.4 so my time of flight divided by 10 gives me 8.9 Four seconds to two decimal places. So that's the time of flight for this um, projection, for this projectile. The next question is to calculate the range attained by the projectile. And uh, I believe you remember the equation for the range of the projectile. The range is given by u squared sine 2 theta divided by g that is 50 squared sine 2 theta since angle theta is 63.4 that's 2 times 63.4 divided by g which is 10 by the time i compute this now what will be the range of the projector so this is the c part of the question to calculate the range so i have 50 squared that is 2500 sine 2 times this gives me 126.8 degrees divided by 10 so 126.8 divided by 10 will give me 201 the range of the projectile will be 201.2 meters so you can use your own calculator to confirm these answers that I got but I guess you understand the solution so the next video will take more examples more questions on this uh, projectile